everyone, I'm Laura, and in today's video I'll be painting this. So I start by transferring a sketch I'd made digitally onto some watercolor paper, and generally preparing the paper with tape and such. The transferring method I'm using is fairly low-key. You put graphite on the back and then use a ballpoint pen to press the image through. I'm tracing it here, as you can see with a colored pencil, so that you can see the sketch better and so that the oil-based colored pencil can actually resist the water a bit, um, since I'm going to be using water in my paint. This is just a basic wash to sort of get the white balance the way I want it. I wanted it slightly cooler, slightly more magenta. And then I get started with my various painting. I had planned out the colors beforehand in fresco, and this was mostly a matter of, of filling in, quite honestly. Um, I love the way acrylic wash is so highly pigmented and I can water it down and can get these watercolor effects as well as a more acrylic gouache effect, this velvet texture. And so playing with that in this piece was, was really, really fun. I love the way acrylic wash mixes as well. I think it's very, very intuitive and the way that I'm able to mimic the colors that I create on fresco and in online palette generators really makes a lot of sense. At the same time though, the colors out of the tube are also beautiful and Holbein offers such a wide range of colors. And I have chosen a mere selection based on what I use the most. But yeah, if you pick up Holbein Acrylic Wash, I would say start with a small set to see if you like it. Um, because the set that I started off with was mid-size and it was an investment. And I really love these paints. I love the way they dry, but it's not for everyone. Let me know if you have any questions about these paints. I've been working with them now for over a year, and they're my most favorite medium. That's all I really have to say about this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.